Hi there. Today we are back at uh, Tumaini Orchards. Tumaini Orchards is in Nyandarwa County. And uh, like I promised in the last video, uh, today we are going to be removing the, the buds. That is the summit or the apex of the tree. Um, and if you check uh, in my other video that I did in Momberes, uh, today I want to take you step by step uh, on how we do this. And uh, basically, if you look at how we grow our tree tomatoes, you will notice that uh, some of us will just allow this seedling to grow without removing the bud. But ideally, what we usually do is that for those who remove the bud, you encourage multiple shoots. And uh, by doing that, a tree will have three strong uh, stems. Um, and uh, um, ideally, you'll have like three trees in one tree. And from our past experiments, that tree will yield more than when you just leave it to grow um, without, without uh, encouraging multiple shoots. So, if you look at this young uh, seedling, um, we planted these seedlings on, the, on December um, of last year. And uh, this has basically attained the one feet height. And what we usually do is that we come here on top. As you can see, um, that is where the top bud is. Uh, or rather, uh, this is where the growth of the tree, um, the cell multiplication usually take place. A lot here yeah, because the tree grows upwards and ideally what we do is that we just remove that as you can see um, this is just a very small tip of the tree that we have removed um, for those who come from tree tea growing zones this is ideally how you pluck uh, tea leaves and uh, you'll notice that uh, the tree will be left with a slight injury. And ideally, uh, because we have discouraged uh, the growth of this bud, uh, you will notice that uh, there will be multiple shoots that will come up, will come out. And uh, out of that is where now we encourage three shoots to come out. Um, I'll be showing you um maybe i can just show you one of the trees that we had done last time uh, but in the meantime just enjoy the view of this uh, trees and we are very happy despite the very harsh um uh, weather conditions because it's very dry um We've managed to keep our trees going and as you can see uh, they're generally doing very well so yeah here is one of the seedlings that we had initially removed the bud and uh, if you take a closer look you will notice the three shoots look at that three beautiful shoots sorry for the shadow um, but that is shoot number one, shoot number two and three. And uh, in the follow-up video, you will see uh, how these shoots develop and become three strong stems. So that's shoot number one, this shoot number two, and this shoot number three. So what we usually do is that we discourage any other shoot below these three shoots to grow. So that whenever they come out... Um, you remove them 
and that's how uh, your tree uh, you, you only encourage those three shoots and uh, if you look at the video that I did in Mumberes you'll see some of the shoots uh, that have matured into some three big uh, stems and eventually we'll walk this journey and you'll see how the transformation so ideally what happens is that these three shoots will actually mature to 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 be like three independent trees uh, but supported by this one stem and that means more vegetation that also means more flowers more fruits and it goes without saying that uh, the tree as, as the tree matures the radius so if you are to um, measure the radius uh, from the stem the canopy is likely to expand uh, a radius we approximate not less than three meters uh, across meaning that maybe in year two or year three uh, you're likely to have a very big bush right and that is the reason why we have no we have spaced our trees very well um, and and if you can notice look at the distance between tree one and tree two so this is tree two and uh, this is tree one so we have given them a, a minimum space of from one tree to the other 2.5 meters and from this tree that is from this row to this other row here um, we have a space of three meters right and uh, maybe we'll continue experimenting but what we have learned from our past experience is that uh, more space if you give your trees more space to grow they enjoy the sunlight they enjoy the sunshine your fruits um, suffer less of fungal infection um, the fruits mature early and uh, you also have more space to work around your trees we have very, very many activities that happen uh, uh, that is the orchard management practices from weeding to spraying to harvesting fruits so the, 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 the more space you give your trees, the more you get to enjoy. And uh, we say this from experience because we've grown this tree for many years and we've made all the mistakes that you can ever think. So please learn from us. Listen what we are saying here because um, what we have done here is that we are trying to put all our six years of experience into practice. So thank you so much. Um, and uh, I'll sh and, and, and subscribe and keep it here uh, for more updates uh, on the progress of this uh, I mean on, on the progress of this project thank you so much